So you've made it to the third video in the series and it's great. But for some of you, you're actually jumping in to video three. And so what I'd ask you to do is to go back a few days, uh, look at my overview for uh, what I've been sharing over the last few days and we'll continue to share on into the next video as well. And for those of you that maybe didn't allow even just the last video on this heart check sink in, go back and watch that first before you just dive into this, because I promise you that this just isn't gonna have the effect on you that it could had you not gone back and listened to that first. So with that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about this next area when we're trying to gauge whether or not the life that we're living is truly the life that we desire to live. And that is around our future. I'm sure every single one of you can remember back to a time when you were six, eight, 10, 12, 13 years old, or maybe when it was sitting down with a high school or college counselor and somebody asked you what you wanted to be when you grew up. And I'll never forget, I wanted to be a fighter pilot. I grew up in the era of Top Gun. I remember drawing airplanes all the time. And so that's what I wanted to be when I grew up and that didn't happen. So whatever that was for you, right? We, we, we had people asking us those questions, but how seriously did you take that? And obviously, depending upon the circumstances that got you to right now today, have dictated where you are today and may not be on the path to where you wanna go in the future. But I'm gonna ask you now, because I asked this of myself at 39, at 40, 41, and now at 42 years old, and I continue to ask myself this question over and over again as I paint my vision for the future, and right now that vision is for 50. That's not where my life's ending, but that's the next, um, uh, measuring point uh, for me in my life. Once we've understand, uh, understood where our heart's at, where our passions are at, where our desires at, are at, then we wanna think about where that's gonna place us into the future. So again, for me, I'm just gonna share mine with you and hopefully uh, you can work this for yourself. You know, when I think about what I want for 50, I wanna be going on more vacations. I wanna be taking more breaks. I wanna be working less, not because I love working less, but because I wanna enjoy the rest of my life more. What is it for you? And when we think about that, we need to think about reality. We need to think about what's realistic for us, not just some pie in the sky idea. I don't like when people set these big, crazy goals for themselves just because somebody told you to set a big, crazy goal. What do you want your life to look like? What are you most excited about at 30, if you're in your 20s? At 40, if you're in your 30s? At 50, at 60, so on. What would your life need to look like? And more importantly, what do your days look like? What do your relationships look like? Those are the questions you wanna ask yourself. Again, we're tying this back to our passions, our desires, what's in our heart. We wanna see that come to fruition. And if you're finding out already that there's things in your life that you're not satisfied with, how over a long period of time can you remove those things from your life? That's what it means to cast a vision for the future. So my encouragement to you is to really think about what that next stage of your life looks like. You don't need to think about retirement. You don't need to think about what it's gonna look like on your deathbed. All you need to do is think about what the next season of life looks like. If you can cast a vision for the future, if you can paint that picture for yourself, you can begin to set the rhythms of life, the habits and disciplines that I'm gonna talk about next in the next video that are gonna help you to create that life in the future.